Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a short one. It is about how to do blended threads or what it's called tweeting. Teresa Wensler uses this a lot from what I've heard. I've never stitched one of her patterns, but Mirabilia also uses it because I did it when I stitched Celtic Noel. So I went through my Mirabilia patterns and I found Feather Fairy and you can see right here this 995-3345 and 995-3371 that means you use both of those threads for that symbol. I pulled 3375 I'm sorry 3345 and 995 so I am going to demonstrate two different ways I know how of doing a blended thread. So the first way and the way that I did it was you put one strand of each color in your needle and then you just stitch both of those strands together like you are stitching with one color. And the way that I did it, because I did it this way in Celtic Noel, I really tried to make sure that the threads were really neat and laying side by side so you could see both colors. So I'm going to stitch a block of this so you can see the effect. Okay, there is a block of 15 stitches. The effect is subtle. In Feather Fairy, this is in her skirt. Her skirt is entirely made of feathers, so I understand the reason for this blending. Now, the other way that you can do it is you can stitch one leg with one color and then come back and do the other leg with the other color. And it's up to you which color you use first. I am going to do the blue as the bottom leg and the green as the top leg. So with this one, you can use the loop method because you are just putting one color in your needle at a time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the first leg of all 15 stitches at one time. Not at one time. Wouldn't that be great to be able to do 15 stitches at a time? You know what I mean. I'm going to do the first leg of all 15 stitches first. Okay, don't you just love that electric blue? I love that color, 995. Okay, there is the first half of the stitch done. Now I'm gonna go in with the green and complete the stitch. 
do the top leg. Okay, there is that completed. You can see it gives a little bit of a different effect on this side. You can see the change in colors better, I think, than this side. So either way, those are the only two ways I know how to do it. If there's another way out there, then I guess you could do that as well. That's it for me today, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. As always thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video.